Hello. 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 Hey. I need you all to hear me tonight. Give me two moments to tell you how good God is. Whew. Hallelujah. Mm. Mm. Give me a moment to say thank you. We are not standing here because he's not good. We're standing here because he's great. Whew. One year ago, yesterday, I lived the worst nightmare anyone could imagine. I watched as my daughter, Sandra Bland, was lowered into the ground in a coffin. She was my fourth of five daughters, and she was gone. No, no, not on administrative leave, but on permanent leave from this earth. Found hanging in a jail cell after an unlawful traffic stop and an unlawful arrest. Mm. Six other women have died in custody that same month. Kendra Chapman, Alexis McGovern, Sarah Lee Circlebear, Raynette Turner, Walkina Jones, and Joyce Cornell. So many of our children are gone, but they are not forgotten. I am here with Hillary Clinton tonight. Because she is a leader and a mother who will say our children's names. She knows that when a young black life is cut short, it's not just a loss. It's a personal loss. It's a national loss. It's a loss that diminishes all of us. What a blessing tonight to be standing here so that Sandy can still speak through her mama. And what a blessing it is for all of us that we have the opportunity. If we seize it, we gotta seize it. Mm. To cast our votes. For a president who will help lead us down the path toward restoration and change. You don't stop being a mom when your child dies. You don't stop being a parent. I am still Jordan Davis's mother. His life ended the day that he was shot and killed for playing loud music. But my job as his mother didn't. I still wake up every day thinking about how to parent him, how to protect him and his legacy, how to ensure that his death doesn't overshadow his life. Here's what you don't know about my son. When Jordan was little, he wouldn't eat a popsicle unless he had enough to bring out to his friends. He loved practical jokes. He liked having deep conversations with me about our love for God and how God could allow such pain and suffering. I lived in fear that my son would die like this. 
I even warned him that because he was a young black man, he would meet people who didn't value him or his life. That is a conversation that no parent should ever have with their child. <laughs> Hillary Clinton isn't afraid to say that black lives matter. She isn't afraid to sit at a table with grieving mothers and bear the full force of our anguish. She doesn't build walls around her heart. Not only did she listen to our problems, she invited us to become a part of the solution. And that's what we're going to do. We're going to keep telling our children stories, and we're urging you to say their names. We're going to keep building a future where police officers and communities of color work together in mutual respect to keep children like Jordan safe. The majority of police officers are good people yes. doing a good yes. job. Yes. And we're asking, and we're also going to keep using our voices and our votes to support leaders like Hillary Clinton, yes. who will help us protect one another so that this club of heartbroken mothers stops growing. First of all, I'd like to say it's an honor to be here, to stand with these mothers and be amongst you. I am an unwilling participant in this movement. I would not have signed up for this or any other mother that's standing here with me today. But I am here today for my son, Trayvon Martin, who is in heaven. And also for his brother, Javaris Fulton, who is still here on earth. I did not want this spotlight, but I will do everything I can to focus some of this light on the pain of a path out of the darkness. Hillary Clinton has the compassion and understanding to support grieving mothers. She has the courage to lead the fight for common sense gun legislation. She has a plan, she has a plan to divide that so often exists between law enforcement and the communities that they serve. This isn't about being politically correct. This is about saving our children. That's why we're here tonight with Hillary Clinton. And that's why in memory of our, of our children, we are imploring you, all of you, to vote this election day. Yeah. Hillary is one, Hillary is one mother who can ensure our movement will succeed. I want to thank you for standing with us and supporting us and we like to leave with you what God has given us, strength, love, and peace. Thank you.